Shanghai police say they are now patrolling some areas in the city where there are complaints that taxi drivers often refuse to take passengers during working hours. Starting from this week,、uh, starting from this year, not only taxi drivers but also these companies will face penalties. Sun Caixin has more. At the Xinjiang Transport Hub in Minhang District, many vacant taxis were waiting for passengers outside the metro station. However, when an undercover officer asked one driver to take him somewhere nearby, the driver refused. The officer identified himself later after the driver had refused him twice. The driver then gave an excuse for refusing the fare. Yes, I told him that I can't take him. But that's because I wanted to go to the bathroom. I didn't have a chance to finish what I was saying. Police say the driver's behavior was a violation because he offered no explanation for refusing the fare. He was fined. An employee of the metro station says the taxi line is managed by taxi companies, so it's hard for station managers to do anything about the problem. You often see taxi drivers refusing to take passengers. They don't want to take a customer nearby and make only the minimum fare. Traffic police say taxi drivers who refuse to pick up passengers are now facing fines of at least 200 yuan and a 15-day suspension of their licenses. In more severe cases, drivers will be banned from trade. Starting this year, taxi companies themselves will also face penalties if their drivers violate the rules. If the taxi company has over four percent of their drivers who are reported refusing passengers, we will suspend six percent to ten percent of taxis from the company to get on the road. The city's civic hotline say more than half of complaints are about taxi drivers refusing to take passengers. Sun Caixin, Shanghai Life.